if I wanted more money, I'd be making move bombs, honey. <laughs> you are a disrespectful piece of mm. Yes. Yeah. Um, your pappy had a heart attack today. Once it starts cooking and stuff, like the broth gets evaporated by all the potatoes and just the deliciousness Absorbed. Um, absorbs. <laughs> Thank you, Destiny. <laughs> Sorry. So I know that does happen, but it's still really good. I tried to show you like that, but. So here is the chili. She tastes phenomenal because I've already tried her. And then the cornbread. This is my mistake. I took it out of the little pan sheet situation type deal messily and it kind of just crumbled. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Turn broth, beans, onion, and the salsa is floating around in there. Look at that spinach hanging off. I love spinach like this in soups. It's so good. Hot. Just got off the stove. Just how I like it. I love my food hot. You know what this reminds me of? Even though it's taco seasoning and I try to do kind of like a taco flair, it reminds me of like a chili kind of. It sounds like some she said. <laughs> And what I love about this, since it's a one pot situation, when it comes to calories, you just add everything up and then say you want that whole pot to be four meals, six meals, whatever it is, divide it by that, divide it by four meals, divide it by six meals, and then your calories will come out. Usually soups like this, not many calories, especially when you do divide it by four, divide it by six. All right, chili time. First things first, the meat. It's a one pot stop here. Everything is just in one pot, which makes it really easy. All right, so as it's cooking, I add a good amount of minced garlic. I add pepper. I add garlic salt. And I add minced onion. I would eat, I would use like real onion, but <laughs> Becky don't like it. Oh my god, it smells good already, don't it? Mm-hmm. Yum. I've been begging you for this. It's Matt Cam. Bitch, I hope the fuck you do. You'll be a dead son of a bitch, I tell you that. I know, I told them. I like to add mushrooms. You guys can see that. Next. Oh, I rinse. Sorry. It's okay. I rinse the beans. I use um, dark kidney, black, and chickpeas, and then I add it, and then I like to add diced tomatoes. It's hard to stir with that. There we go. And then I add tomato juice. Can they see everything? Mm-hmm. And I add chicken broth. Saying do you use the whole thing? Almost. That is the reduced sodium type too. I made sure to get that. And then I stir. And then I like to use a chili seasoning packet. See, as you can tell, it's like a soup consistency. And then I do end up adding a little bit more of my own cumin. And a little bit more of my own cayenne. We so I'm gonna go enjoy this deliciousness. 
And obviously it's something satisfying because you cooked it yourself. It's not takeout. I do order takeout, you know, I'm not gonna lie. But I also like to do my random concoctions. Please. Sometimes I eat it with Fritos, but I'm gonna try it with cornbread this time. Oh my god, this is gonna slap. That's good. Yeah, I let her cook on the stove for probably another, what was it, like, would you say like 30 to 40 minutes? Mm -hmm. I was just letting it simmer and like have a moment. The longer you do that, the better it tastes, like I promise. Is that it? I'm so good. I'm super excited because it's gonna start being colder. So that means there is an excuse for sweaters. There's an excuse for soups and people won't judge. I have added more chicken broth. <laughs> I just feel my old self saying how I kind of want it soupy. Plus, there was a lot of seasonings. I don't want it to be too seasoning -y, 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 y Plus, we both like soups a lot, so. Chicken broth. Some tomato juice. The chili seasoning packet. Some tomato sauce. And some diced tomatoes. I'm going to add the basil, parsley, and Italian. I do add more Italian than the basil and parsley. So I have added the rice as well. So now we're gonna add the sauce. So for the black beans, I like to rinse mine. So I put them in a strainer. And then I turn on the cold water and I rinse them for a It would be really good, but I think I want mine to have less broth today. All right, you guys, it is complete. I don't know about you, but it looks so good. That's what good pussy sounds like. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go try it. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I have made this before, but if you cook, you know nothing you make twice ever tastes the same. We're gonna do a little taste test. Hot. For me, this is one of the best things I've ever made. I recommend this. I know a lot of people will like stuff like this. I know summer's coming up, like Amberlynn, I should be cooking more summery foods. But when it comes to clothing, and when it comes to food, I'm kind of like always stuck in winter, you know? Here for onion, amazing. Like it has drastically changed my life. It takes two seconds to cut some onion now. I'm gonna show you guys. How awesome. So you take your onion. And you just do that. It is a little loud, but that's okay. <laughs> so. Ooh, your hands smell like onion. Uh, I hate when my hands smell like onion. I'm just gonna add the onion. We are an onion family around these parts. On my chalkboard, it still says Vlogmas Day 6. That's because of laziness. So I'm gonna show you everything you need for this. Again, everyone's chili is different. I like to wing things, that's how I've always been. So all you need is one big pot because this is a one potter. Make sure that uh, it has two hands because that one broke off. Yeah, make sure not handles. I don't even know if I'm gonna hands. use this one. This is just demonstration. I might there's another one just like this that has two handles, but okay. So the first thing you need, chili mix, obviously. I like to use chicken broth low sodium for the liquids, if you will. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using ground turkey instead of hamburger. For the beans, I wanted it to be kind of beany. <laughs> the last time I did this, I only used two cans of beans. So this time I'm gonna use three. I have two dark kidney beans. I'm gonna use one black bean. 
We also have some 100% tomato juice. I do not use all of this because I feel like you just do not need all of this. I use maybe half. And then I got some diced tomatoes to put in as well. So this is the part where people are gonna be like, really, this isn't chili, which maybe it's not. I'm gonna be adding big chunks of onion so it's easier for Becky to take out. I'm gonna be adding some mushroom for some veggie and some zucchini. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this whole zucchini, but we will see. So for the seasonings, we're gonna use a little bit of table blend, Mrs. Dash, a little bit of original blend, Mrs. Dash, a little bit of onion and herb, Mrs. Dash, a little bit of garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash. <clears throat> Mrs. Dash is great because they're all sodium free. And then we're gonna use a little bit of black pepper and obviously the staples I feel like in most chilies, we're gonna use cumin and we're gonna use cayenne pepper. Okay, so this is how the chili is going. There is a lot more onion than I thought, but the reason why I cut it in like big chunks like this, Becky said that's cool so she can like pick it out because all her family cooks with onion too. So she's used to doing that, but I haven't had onion in a while because Becky does not like onion, so I don't cook with it, but she's like, you know what, baby, you can cook with it. I don't like cool things. <laughs> so I just made it a little bit easier for her. So there it is, finished. Looks super good. Becky picked out some of her onions, gave them to me, as you can tell, but there we go. And this is a half a serving of cheese, Mexican cheese. So I know. Right now, we're gonna do a little taste test. Doesn't that look delicious? I don't know, it does to me. I am exhausted. It's been a hot minute before I like really cooked something that was like, took a lot of attention. Chili, this is turkey chili. It is so good. And then I got a veggie sandwich. Literally just has veggies. They gave me two chips, although I asked for an apple, but that's okay. And I have no silverware, hold on. So, wow, I feel super short. I feel like lean over and I'm like, okay, what's, what's this? <laughs> so, oh, this is the perfect time of year. Yeah, I feel like I'm super far away. However much to your liking, I added about half. that I've probably had about 10 bites <laughs> and this is the best soup I've ever made and the healthiest I just really wanted to say that because I really feel like you guys should try this it is amazing <laughs> and I'm trying to make a store list today I'm actually gonna be making like a taco chicken soup type thing I was a little hesitant on it because any soup is gonna be high in sodium. And I've been trying my hardest not to have that much sodium. Even if I do a low sodium chicken broth, it's still gonna have more sodium than I have been eating. So it kind of sucks, but I have to keep reminding myself this is a lifestyle change. Don't be scared of sodium because your body needs it. So what I'm gonna put in it, like I can let you guys know what I'm gonna put in it and we'll see how it turns out. So, those so I'm gonna dish myself some. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. If you guys hear a noise in the background, I'm watching Nicavado Avocado. I can't say his name, but I'm watching that him on YouTube right now. There we go. All done. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I did try a bite and it's really good of them. I might add the whole thing, but it's kind of small, but I'm kind of just experimenting for now. <laughs> so I don't want to ruin the soup. I'm going to add these. Um, I don't want to add the whole thing, so I added a little bit more than half. Update, I did add the rest of the artichoke hearts. I just realized so much soup and there just wasn't enough artichoke. Everything has been added. Do, um, as you guys know, I'm obsessed with soups. It's cold out. I like to get experimental and I feel like it's the best way for me as a person to get in my vegetables. So. These are all the ingredients I'm going to be using for this soup. We have chicken broth that is reduced sodium. You're also going to need water because that's just not enough like 
juices. Do you get what I'm saying? We're gonna use some seasonal garlic powder, pepper. I need to put some more in there. Some Italian dressing, minced garlic. I actually forgot. We're also going to need basil and parsley. Obviously, an onion, that is my favorite. <laughs> Two medium-sized potatoes, ketchup, sriracha, liquid aminos. This is just a healthier version of soy sauce. You can use soy sauce if you want. I'm gonna use some diced tomatoes with habaneros. It's supposed to be hot, but somehow I doubt it. We're gonna do some French style green beans, some artichoke hearts. If you don't like artichoke hearts, you definitely don't have to add it. We're gonna do some corn. We're gonna do some broccoli and cauliflower just as a whole. We're just gonna keep it just like that. We're gonna do some carrots and some lentils. Okay, it just has to boil just a tiny bit and then I'll start adding stuff. I got all the vegetables ready that I will be adding. This over here, this over here. This stuff, obviously, I'm gonna add first because this is what is gonna take the longest to cook. Okay, before it gets too hot, because this will splash up a little bit, um, you don't wanna burn yourself. You can add, <laughs> see it splashes up a little bit. I know some of you will say in the comments there's an easier way to do this, and if there really is, let me know. So, I would just use a knife instead of that big old ladle. That's it. Good idea. <laughs> True. I have the stove on high. We're gonna add the broth. Okay, so this is how much the broth did. A pretty decent amount, but not enough, so I'm gonna add water. Okay, now the water's in there. And I'm gonna start adding the seasonings. So we're gonna add some garlic powder. Baby, can you have my peanut butter? Yes. <laughs> um, where'd it be at? Somewhere in there. Here it is. I didn't know we had oh yeah, this is for the chicken up here. Okay. Um, garlic powder, I don't measure anything, parsley, it really is just up to the person, pepper, you guys know me, I usually add the seasoning after I add the potatoes, but I don't know, as this is boiling, I want the juices to flow, you know what I'm saying? Yes, a lot of pepper type thing. I know a lot of people say that chili is supposed to be chunky, but Becky and I like it on like the soup side, which makes it really, really good. So I wanted to show you guys the ingredients that I will be using. Black pepper, minced onion, garlic salt, four types of Mrs. Dashes, the table blend, original blend, garlic and herb, onion and herb, minced garlic, ground cumin, cayenne pepper, chicken broth, mushrooms, two things of ground turkey. I prefer the 90% lean, 10% fat. Can of black beans, can of kidney beans, can of chickpeas, obviously the chili packet. I use about three fourths of this tomato juice can, tomato sauce, and some tomato paste. So first I'm gonna spray a little bit of canola oil spray. And then we're gonna add the meat. Then we're gonna break it down. So while the meat is cooking, you're gonna wanna add some of the seasonings. We're gonna start with the minced garlic, black pepper, garlic salt, minced onion, and all the Mrs. Dash seasonings. And then you're gonna stir it. So some of the seasonings won't be added until later. You're gonna wanna add the mushrooms so they can cook with meat. So once the meat and the mushrooms are cooked, you're gonna add the chili powder. Then after you stir that, you're gonna wanna add your chicken broth. So I did add all of that. Then the tomato juice. I forgot to show you, but I also add diced tomatoes, a little bit of tomato sauce, tomato paste, then the ground cumin, the cayenne pepper, stir that, 
Hopefully by then you would have rinsed your beans and then you add those. And then for about 20 minutes, you just let it cook, marinate with each other, but remember to check on it and stir it occasionally. So it is complete. Becky's about to get herself some. Yeah, I'm so excited. Amberlynn's chili is, yes. <laughs> so yes. Hey guys, so it is the next, another mukbang. So let me start off with this. This is a Progresso soup. I was really wanting some soup. So honestly, I'm not really the biggest fan of canned soups. It honestly depends, dep <clears throat> excuse me. It depends on the brand and everything else like that. But I dig this soup. It's pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. It's super hot. Um, it's a potato broccoli soup. So the lighting in here is a little off today. I don't like it. Those are also really good for soups. I do like cooked potatoes. It's potatoes, duh. Tomatoes, this is what it looks like. And I like tomatoes in salsa. I think it's because it's processed differently because I can't do the whole raw tomato thing otherwise. Now we're gonna add the chicken broth. This baby is gonna be thick. And yes, I am sitting down in a chair because my leg and my breathing. It's all because I'm over 500 pounds. So stop diagnosing me with stuff. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys what is currently simmering. Um, it's kind of like a cabbage vegetable soup. So what I have in there is water, obviously. But I also put some chicken stock, ground turkey, the tiniest bit of corn. Like literally I got this frozen bag and it's still super heavy and full because I didn't put much. Some tomatoes, cabbage. I really, really like cabbage. I did a can of black beans. I did onion. I think that's it. Oh, and mushrooms to add, you know. Oh, I wasn't even filming myself, hello. So that's how it looks. I love just really filling soups like this. It's just, it's super, super good. So what are you doing, babe? I love the dishwasher. Add as much as you want. So this is what it looks like. It's gonna be super thick. <laughs> like I can already tell. It might not even be a soup. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get a lid and let it, let it do its thing. So don't worry. All right, so I'm about to make a chicken soup. I have no idea what I am doing, but you know, I don't measure anything. I kind of just feel with my heart. And I'm starting by sauteing some onion and carrots and a little bit of butter. So I'm gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. Once this jar is done, I wanna start getting fresh garlic. But I just don't wanna waste that, so. I am a seasoning gal. I want things to taste good. I'm gonna add a little garlic salt. I'm gonna add some pepper. I love pepper in chicken noodle soup, or any soup really, let's be real. I'm gonna add some celery seed, just a little bit. Rosemary. Also a little bit of thyme. Ooh, it smells so good. 
That is the exact smell I was aiming for. And then I'm gonna add some 33% less sodium chicken broth. I might add two. Okay, something just fell off the tree, I think. She loves it. No. It, all right. It is finished. Oh, she looks so good. Look at that. That's why I got the rotisserie chicken, by the way. If you don't feel like cooking your own meat, I'm telling you, Walmart has really good rotisserie chickens. This is a perfect meal for a December day. And then I add a bunch of pepper to my own. <laughs> it just adds this really good like, it's a tiny bit of spice, but not the type of spice that's like, oh my God, spicy, peppery, like a pepper. So I'm here making me and Amberlynn some veggie soup. Got some whole grain noodles, some carrots, look at this, peas and corn. And then it's in all vegetarian vegetable broth. This is actually a vegetarian meal, isn't it? It would be, sort of, without the, if the pasta wasn't it. I don't know, the pasta, the pasta is vegetarian. It might be, yeah. I mean, it's vegan. Oh, this might be all vegan. Bong for you guys. We have some soup here. Lots of freaking soup. So, what? I'm sorry, like I really wanted to film where you guys could see my bowl as I'm eating. I can hold it a little bit, but it's pretty hot right now, like super hot, let's be real. This thing, a little update on how it looks. Oh my gosh, it looks delicious, or at least to me it does. So. I'm gonna try one of the potatoes. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth and see how far cooked they are. <clears throat> Whoops. I was trying to get that one off. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm gonna burn my actual mouth right now. I'm gonna give it another five minutes. It's been on here for about, I'd say 15. So here is the completed. It did boil a lot, which evaporates the broth, which I'm totally okay with because this looks delicious. And this is probably the consistency I should start making my chili, but I love broth, so. Destiny made and oh my god it is so delicious this is super cheap and super healthy and thank you so much baby you did such <laughs> I don't a good want job. my peas I know she's giving me her peas you did such a good job and I'm proud of you thank you thank you thank you you're welcome <laughs> I really enjoy making soups like it's so fun and this is all plant-based soup so that is awesome and for you vegans yes vegan that's plant-based um, so you guys could do this, but it's pretty, pretty simple. I make tons of different types, but this is the one that I was kind of like calling to. So it's just a vegetable, um, broth, obviously. We have some tomatoes, onion, bell pepper. I have to look in it to remember what I added. Um, tons of different seasonings. Um, we have sriracha, salsa, rice lentils chickpeas quinoa carrots did i say bell pepper and onion i think i did we have garlic we have the garlic powder and the actual garlic like the little minced garlic um gosh what else do we have in here i don't really remember the seasonings oh yeah and water like because you might think the vegetable broth is like enough but really no you need to add like tons of water, not to dilute it because all of this stuff totally gives it flavor. Let's just start eating. Already two minutes in, I haven't started eating yet, but it's really hot. Yes. It's so good. For this recipe. So first thing first, obviously you're gonna wanna cook your ground turkey 
With the ground turkey, I do not put any oil or anything because it has its natural oils, as you can tell. And there will be no seasoning because I will season everything when it's all in the pot together. While you have your ground turkey doing its thing, you're gonna wanna start cooking the actual soup part. So we're gonna add all the chicken broth. So everything can kind of marinate into, into each other. Little food situation. So just a little warning, I will be doing a lot of sitting because I am having some mobility issues due to my weight. I'll also be doing a lot of standing. So it's gonna be a mixture of both. I just don't want anyone to be like, oh, Amberlynn's sitting down and she didn't tell us. The shade, the tea, no, like over 500 pounds is gonna be happening. But I would like to say that I stand more than I used to about a month ago, so yay. Okay, so first things first, add the ground meat. That sounds so gross. I don't use oils, I use water, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Just to get everything smelling good, we're gonna add some pepper. I like a lot of pepper because I like spice. We're going to add some of the table blend. We're going to add some of the minced garlic. Obviously my favorite part, some garlic powder. Woohoo! I love garlic. So, we're going to cut our onion now just to get it over with. So, depending on how you like your onion, Cut it to the size that you want, but you won't be adding this in until we have the broth in there and stuff. But some people like bigger chunks, some people like smaller chunks. I happen to like bigger, but I think we're gonna do like a, midi a medium. A medium style, kind of like that. Just depends on how much you like onion. I happen to love it. Becky hates onion, so. She won't be eating on this. So onion is already cut and ready to rumble. Make sure you're also paying attention to your chicken. Now we wanna get the black beans ready. See how gross that is? No. You want to rinse. So you're gonna empty that in a strainer. Turn on your cold water. And do this. Get all that goop off of it. Once that's done, you're just gonna set it to the side. So what you're gonna wanna do next, when you notice that your chicken is pretty much done, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna add the taco seasoning. Ooh, yes. But like I said, you can make your own taco seasoning, but I'm lazy. So we're just gonna keep it simple. And then stir. I did add a little bit of more water, cause you don't wanna add the taco seasoning to super dryness because you don't want to burn anything. I'm going to add two cups of water. Two chicken cubes. My onion. Give that a stir, wait for it to boil. Ooh, that looks good already. Now that it is beginning to boil, I'm gonna add, this is barely a cup of corn. 
So we're gonna add that. We are also going to add the beans. And this is up for your liking. If you want more broth, add more water. Add another cube. If you want it to be more thick and meaty, keep it as it is. And some oil. This isn't a recipe by no means, because I suck at that anyhow. I'm just gonna use some ground turkey for my meat. Mmm. Babe, do you wanna try their chili? You wanna try their chili? Whole recipe moment, but I am making a taco lentil soup from scratch and I'm so excited. So we have lentils, onion, some black beans. See, as you can tell, the lentils are nowhere near done. Um, what else? We have seasonings, we have a taco packet. Packet, a taco packet. I put some salsa, some corn. I'm gonna put some cream cheese here in a little bit. Um, these are the lentils that I chose. Goya, I don't even know. We have the chicken broth. Um, I did add salsa for some tomato. There's some corn. This is the packet. Um, we're also gonna have some avocado with it. And some of these tortilla strips on top just for some crunch. Um, she's gonna use Greek yogurt in replace for sour cream, but I'm gonna use light sour cream. There might be a little bit of Mexican style cheese on top. So this is a whole moment and it is storming today. I just heard thunder, so it's like literally perfect. If oh my gosh, look how good. Oh, my girlfriend's already tried it. She has snuck a couple uh, ladles full and she absolutely loves it. I am making a mess. Oh, look how delish. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese, just a tiny bit because I'm also gonna have a dollop of sour cream, just a little dollop. I'm gonna have just a little bit of avocado. I'm also gonna add some raw onion, cause yum. And then some of these tortilla strips. There it is, folks. We're gonna start off with a little soup recipe. I know I get judged on my soups, which is okay, I get judged on all the food I make, which is totally fine. We're just gonna live our best life and make what we like. Who cares what other people think? So, you're gonna need ground turkey, onion, a potato, some diced tomatoes, chicken broth, baby spinach, whatever seasonings you wanna use, and if you want it spicy, you can use hot sauce, which I'm gonna be using, tapatio. Okay, I also, I've gotten some questions. Why do you get pre-wrapped produce? Like my cucumbers, my potatoes, broccoli. So there's two reasons. Everything is always pre-washed, plus I get the heebie-jeebies because Everyone's at the store, it's like flu season, cold season. Everyone's like touching stuff, like the bell peppers and like the cucumbers and like, everyone's like squeezing on them. And I know you can take them home and wash them, but it just gives me the actual like heebie-jeebies. So it's just a lot easier to just get pre-packaged. So I have my onions going with some water. 
a lot of you thought I didn't cook my onions first. I do. Um, once they're about halfway done, that's when I add the meat. Okay. Put some more water. I'm gonna add my turkey. Bloop. Just grounding it up a bit. As for my seasonings, garlic salt. I know I have onions in there, but I feel like minced onion and onion powder taste different. And all, like this is sodium free. And this is so good, like taking a bite together, it's like this creamy situation. Oh, hi, I wasn't even filming myself. You guys. When I tell you, this slaps. That's the lentil dance, okay? So, low sodium chicken broth. I got two of these for a complex carb. You just make these in the microwave. It's just potatoes with black pepper, rosemary, and thyme. So, this is the cheese I chose. I'm gonna use a little bit. Some petite diced tomatoes. Roasted garlic and herb spaghetti sauce, kidney beans, black beans, reduced sodium, salsa. Tomatoes, but yeah, so look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I feel like this is the best way for me to eat vegetables, like I said before. Um, I don't know, it just looks so good. I really want you guys to try this. Obviously, I haven't tried it yet, but I will definitely let you know what I think when it's done. If I wanted more money, I'd be making move bombs, honey. <laughs> Are a disrespectful piece 